Hi guys, in this video, I'm going to discuss about XML data type in Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio. So, if you click, right click on table here, new here, table. So, at here, if you all go to data types, at here, different data types available. So, here you can find XML data type also. And here, you can give the XML data type any name, column name. And here, if you want, then here you can allow. So, not no, not allow no. Here, after you can take the other data so like the id so this should be numeric here yeah. so for saving this one you have to click on save to here after table two so this is the direct method we can create the uh, one column with xml data now here after let's go see by query so add here going to use first or uh, create a statement and you create a uh, table and you uh, creating the table name employee and you give x and l now here after the first part is for id so this should be integer term and your primary key primary key and here after employee underscore data So this is going to give at here the name and type of data x employee underscore data column name xml and here that should be not null. Now here after let's add secure to this query. So table created with the name employee xml. Now let's refresh that. So see at here employee xml table it's created. Click, click on plus here after columns at here you can find id and employee columns and here this is the xml tab now here after we need to insert the record inside employee xml table so at here let's write insert into so insert into employee xml so first column is at here id and next column is employee data so control c and here after we need to write values and here so values first is the id so giving add here the one is the id now here after single code greater than operator here employee and here giving the name emp id equal to n double code we need to give one or you can give any values so let's give out here 100 100 and here after after giving this 100 now close by or less than operator now here after next is employee employee over next is name open tag and here after giving the name Jason and here a closing tag closing tag add your name now the next is city so this is the opting tag and here give the city name so going at here manchester and here after close tag city now here after salary opening tag so at here seven eight double zero and closing tag of salary Now in last the opting tab of employee. So let's write at here employee and we need to give single code. Now here after close that one. Now if you execute to this query, so one row inserted successfully. So if you want to check the record 
so add here right or uh, select a statement select a start from employee xml now execute that so employee xml select a start from So this is the record that I just inserted one here employee ID 100 Jason Manchester and 78 WG. So you're gonna insert more record. So let's give it here 101 name Jason 1 city Manchester 1 or salary this value. Now here after oh okay there is a primary key validation so we need to give unique primary key add here now execute that so one more row inserted add here execute so see add here this is the value that I just inserted 101 Jason Manchester and this is the values now here after some important point about the XML tag so if you give add here in at the capital letter so this is the opening tag closing tag by a small letter now if you execute, so let's give add here this value unique. So add here this is the error message in tag doesn't match. So this is the character 41. So matching it's not match name and this name and this name not the same. So if you know insert thing name must be same. So the name character this all values must be equal to the closing tag this value. Now hereafter if you execute the value is inserted. So this is the value here inserted. Now hereafter the next is C. So we can apply on XML or data or various or method. So let's just see one method where I'm going to use one method at here. So going to use add here exits. So exit method going to use. So what the exit method? So it is used to check if the specified X path exit or not. So here. So let's write to select a statement first. So select ed dot employee data. employee underscore data dot exit exit now hereafter single code class the name is add here employee employee next is name and here the one value going to pass and single code and here the table name from so the table name employee xml and here where id equal to one now let's execute that. So add a ed dot employee underscore data exits. Execute. Here message cannot find either column et or user defined function. So add a we need to give et. Now let's execute that. So see add here. Or the value it's returning one so that means the value is exits so suppose if you change add here a small employee so a small employee add a capital employee I'm using add here a small employee now if you execute so this is returning here zero so it, this means employee doesn't exit so we need to give the or uh, everything must be same so if you give employee so here that must be same. 
Now the next, now let's execute. So this is returning one. So at here exit method is used to check if the specified X path exit or not. So it's a exit, so it's a returning one. Now if you give at here the value five, ID value five. So there is no ID, ID value with five, so that it's a returning nothing. I'm going to say how to convert any table or records into XML. So uh, let's uh, use at here the table name em employee. So going to use uh, I'm going to use emp table. So simply execute this one. So this is the record inside emp. Now hereafter let's use for XML auto. Now if you execute this query, so this uh, employee EMP values add here, it's now converted into XML. So this is the XML. After that you can uh, use this uh, values inside any table. Now here after the next thing is, so next uh, thing is add here, going to convert into row. So add here going to convert EMP value into XML row. So let's write our a table. Now if you execute, so this value is not converted into row. So see at here this is the value. So about the row, it provides single element or the optionally provide element for each row in the query result. So this is the some important point about the XML data type. So I hope guys this video is helpful for you. So now in this video it's over. So thanks for watching. See you next video.